some Colorado officials have sent a letter to congressional leadership requesting a probe into Rep. Lauren Boebert's R. Colo. Actions leading up to and on the day of the deadly riot at the U. S. Capital, according to multiple reports. In the letter published by KUSA and first obtained by the Steamboat Pilot and Today, the officials across Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, which Boebert represents, raised deep concern about her actions leading up to and during the protests that turned into a violent deadly mob. Boebert has faced backlash and calls to resign over tweeting out the location of lawmakers as the Capitol was being breached. Some GOP lawmakers voiced concerns over Boebert's tweets in a heated call on Monday. Representative Boebert's actions, including her statements on the floor immediately preceding the insurrection and her social media posts leading up to the riots were irresponsible and reprehensible, the officials wrote. The letter says the congresswoman's speech and tweets encouraged the mob mentality of her followers, as well as those who directly participated in the mob. The officials asked for an investigation and to follow through with any appropriate disciplinary action. The lawmakers also said they reached out to Boebert directly and have not received a response. Our bigger concern is that hate groups are proliferating in America and they are heavily armed. We request that you create a congressional panel to thoroughly investigate these groups. They pose a real threat to American democracy, to our communities and to our residents, the lawmakers wrote. The letter was addressed to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, D. Califf. Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, DMD. And Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf. Boebert's office didn't immediately return a request for comment on the letter. The Steamboat Pilot and Today noted that Boebert was giving a speech objecting to Arizona's electoral vote just before Congress went into recess due to the riot. After the riot, Boebert still voted to uphold objections to Arizona and Pennsylvania's electoral college vote. 